fire. Oh, holy crap. Clothing is any wearable material meant to cover and protect the human body while offering comfort and practicality. Sure, it keeps us warm and lets us look stylish, but could it shield us from real physical damage? To find out, I'll be standing in front of blood-tipped arrows fired from both a longbow and a crossbow to see how many layers can actually stop the pain. As always, never try anything you see in this video. If you did, you probably have a ton of extra sweats that don't don't have anything to do with afterwards. What are you gonna do with all your extra sweats? Burn them. Dude, come on. I like fire. <laughs> For this experiment, I'm gonna be getting shot with three different strength projectiles. We're gonna use a 30 pound bow, a 50 pound bow, and a crossbow. And 16 pairs of pants, and 16 pairs of sweaters. Yes, check out all the protection we have laid out over there. I'm more worried about the heat exhaustion than the pain. Yeah, it's, it's pretty toasty out today and no wind. Out of all the days. Listen, the weather doesn't choose the video. The video chooses the, the, the weather and date. There's a lot of cold days in Michigan, Houston. Yeah, you could have waited to the fall. Or the spring. It's a good idea, okay? And I just thought about it. You seem too excited. <laughs> to do it. How many layers, Mark, do you think it's gonna take to stop the pain? I'm gonna say probably seven to eight layers. How many layers do you think it takes to pass out from the heat? It's, it's hot enough out here, probably only like three. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's gonna be a sweaty one. We'll we'll lose some weight on this. We're but you know rich. what, we've been trying to lose weight. You're so right, that's part of the journey. This is good for us. <sighs> you better have some good drinks after this. I got water. Oh, I need. <laughs> <laughs> Control shot with the 30 pound bow. Mark's gonna shoot straight into my stomach, which we have never done before. With a bow. Good thing he's got a brick wall, so it won't hurt any of his organs. Ugh, that's, that's the goal. We're using very hard point blunt arrow tips. If you haven't seen these shot into my bear skin before, go watch the previous videos on them. They're like not even a year old. Woo! Hit my head. <laughs> <laughs> Headshot. <laughs> it went over to the shield. <laughs> Damn it. Get in closer. <clears throat> yeah, pretty bad. Yeah. That's a... That took everything right out of you. Sucker punch to the gut. Good Ooh. shot. Good shot. Yeah, that's like a damn near rib breaker. Ooh. If that was a 50 pound bow, yeah. I think I would have cracked a rib on that one. You would have cracked. Oh, God. Test I know I've ripped open. <laughs> 30 pound bow, blunt arrow, bear skin. Might be one of the, like, out of all the, like, less lethals you shoot me with in the stomach, I think that felt worse. It didn't, like, rip my skin off, but the mass moving behind the arrow. Ooh. Really started with a big shot. Yeah, yeah. Well, this is the only bow we could shoot to my stomach. Yeah. So, here's the question. Do we go to one layer or two? Uh, let's see, we got 12 sweaters, so I say every two increments. I agree. We'll go up by two sweatshirts each shot until I'm really not feeling significant pain. Starting with two. <laughs> I now have two layers of sweatshirts on. We're gonna do another shot with a 30 pound bow into my stomach. I feel like this is gonna help a lot. That last one hurt a lot. Yeah, even though with all the adrenaline you built up, it's still- From all your misses? Miscalculations. Okay, that somehow sounds slightly better. It does. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see what happens. I'm ready. Oh. Ah, you hit me low, but that's okay. <laughs> I think it was a little bit helpful. Yeah, in the belly button. Oh, nice. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Dead accurate. <laughs> <laughs> you couldn't even see the target. I know. Wow. Okay, that definitely still hurt, so let's increase the layers by two. <laughs> <laughs> Four layers on now, and I gotta say, I'm feeling quite protected. How many layers do you think it would take for a gunshot? Someone has already done a video on this. So oh, really? You can probably find that on YouTube. Thank goodness for the internet. <laughs> <laughs> and away we go. <clears throat> Yeah. That was a lot better. A lot better? Yeah. Okay. It definitely hurt still. Yeah. Uh, like there was pain, but not like a, oh no, maybe I just broke a rib kind of pain. So we bring out the 50 pound bow? No, we gotta keep it sane. I say we do two more layers to get like the full picture of this. You might not even feel the last one. And that'll be interesting. That's new data. We like data. We do. We're data receptacles. It fills us up. And tears us down. Please don't get so close to my camera. It makes us. What's your millimeter on this? Makes us full. 82. I've seen I love being full. <laughs> Fill me up. You need to get your teeth cleaned.
Oh, yeah, he does. I'm he does. busy. I'm he busy. Does. He does. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Jay. <laughs> <laughs> Six layers is on now. I'm feeling quite robust. Kind of reminds me of when you we put duct tape around you. And yeah, you yeah. Little... And I wobbled around. I think this will be the level that's gonna kind of, it's gonna be like the pain is neg negligible, you know? So if you're out in public, wear six layers and you might be a little safer. You, you could stop a 30 pound blunt arrow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll find out. Yeah. <laughs> you even hit me in like a less muscled spot. You hit me on the side. Probably maybe glanced a little bit, but I feel like if you hit me with like bare skin, that one would have hurt a lot because it was like right here. Mm -hmm. and that's like a very like unprotected area on me. What are you gonna do with all these sweaters? I'm gonna burn them. Burn them? We're gonna have a fire. Oh, what? <laughs> what Goodwill? I the same thing. Or us. Listen, Goodwill has gotten enough out of me from the past year, okay? What have you given them? All my other clothes. Oh. You didn't let your friends take a, you know, look through your clothes? Yeah, I would have worn your clothes. Yeah. That seems like more work, guys. You could have just had us look What do you mean? Bag. We could have came to your place and taken it from your closet. Well, moving on to the 50 pound bow to my legs, starting at two layers. Unbelievable. <laughs> <laughs> we stripped the layers down and here's the damage. Human skin, nothing covering it right there. I want to say this was two layers. Six layers though, it's right here. It's like a slight redness. That last six layers one was not really painful at all. You could tell, I could tell that it hit me, but it wasn't something I'll be like, ow. Oh. Like that first one where I rolled over and I was like, good, gotta catch my breath. Yeah, yeah. So we're gonna move to the 50 pound longbow. We're gonna do two layers of sweatpants. That'll be our start. I'm waiting for this one right here. Nice raw flesh. You're shooting me in the lake. I, I misspoke. <laughs> <laughs> Got two layers of sweatpants on. I guess I have my shorts and compression shorts as well, but they're a very thin layer. So we'll just count two sweatpants right now. 50 pound long bow. I'm gonna shoot it into my right leg and see what happens. Those are tall. Yeah, they're mediums. I'm definitely not a medium. You look a little promiscuous. That was my promiscuous. <laughs> I felt it. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is heavy. Wow. Yeah, that hurt. Yeah, yeah, that hurt. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's smart. Ugh. Good thing you did uh, start it off with two layers and not bare naked. Yeah, well, we already did bare naked with this one, so yeah, yeah. we know what it looks like. Yeah. And it was worse than that. Okay, painful for sure. I think you should try that because you'll probably fall to the ground. <laughs> <laughs> I think that'll be a good one for you. I bet you I don't. What are we wagering? 10 bucks. You owe me 20 for I know, I've, I've already forgot. <laughs> I remember every day. I watched the video back and I'm like, oh, I forgot to pay him the, that money. I'll send you the bill at the end. Well, I get to earn some back this, this way, okay? You're right. I think you'll drop two layers, 50 pound bow. What's your leg look like? Can't even see it, really. Mm. Uh, hit me around here. This is also where you sandblasted me. Ah, it's dead. Doesn't count. <laughs> <laughs> Four layers of sweatpants. I'm feeling pretty safe. Yeah, I'm pretty safe. <laughs> Don't break my longbow. I think it was like $200. I won't. All right, four layers into my leg. I think this might be where we end here. I'll be surprised if I'm feeling pain after this. You won't. Let's see what happens. Definitely still felt that one. Uh huh. I would definitely say it was painful. I said we just try six layers because after this we go to crossbow anyways. Got to keep it consistent. Yeah. So we'll go up to six. That this bow into my stomach at four layers would have been rough. Want to try it? No. Okay. <laughs> six layers acquired. Now those are tree trunks. Uh, yeah. Yeah. I'm feeling. I'm feeling really protected. We can bring a lot more stuff into this. We go to blunt weapons after this video. A lot of different blunt weapons. A lot of. I feel like blunt weapons would blow right through all of this. Let me go get the slow chamber. I moved it already. You <laughs> son of a gun. <laughs> what was that? Yeah, that was a good hit. Hit me in a good spot too. Definitely still felt it. Minimal pain. I think it's just the blunt aspect of it that causes any amount of pain. Mm -hmm. Maybe even if this arrow head was, or the arrow itself was just a touch lighter, I probably wouldn't have felt it at all. But yeah, I'd say that's about the level of where it's like insignificant. Cool if that had like a little arrow at the end and it was just sticking in your leg walking around. I think if this was an arrowhead, it could still punch through all these sweatpants. How many layers? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on. 
to the crossbow. Now this particular crossbow is 175 pound draw, 255 FPS. If you wanted to see me getting shot bare skinned and with one layer of denim, we have that video on the channel. We are gonna start today with six layers of sweatpants because that is about the cutoff point for the 50 pound longbow. Seems safe, you're the expert, so. I think that's still gonna be quite painful. It probably will be, it looks scary. It shoots a lot harder than the previous bows. I'm very curious to see what these six layers can offer me in terms of protection. We'll find out. We will. Fire! Oh, holy crap. <laughs> I did that with one layer before. That's insane. Oh my God. Oh, wow. Oh, that hurt. Oh, 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 that really hurt. Let me reset. <laughs> you son of a bitch, you're so fast. <laughs> <laughs> you notice? <laughs> 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 oh! God damn it, why are you making me kick? So we'll inspect that in a second. Let's keep adding layers. That hurt really bad. That was fast. That was so fast. Oh my God, that. That was like five times faster than the 50 pound bow looked like. Yeah, no, that uh, that was painful, very painful. So let's go up two layers. It's kind of unfortunate because I don't feel like two layers more is gonna help me that much, but we're gonna keep going up two layers at a time until the pain kind of stops. Okay. <laughs> Eight layers versus a blunt crossbow. Wow, I was actually kind of surprised by that because the six layers hurt a lot. This was, definitely could still feel it, uh -huh. but feel way safe? more manageable. Yeah, like I feel safe with that one. Let's do 10 layers just because, mm -hmm. and I think we're done. I think we solved the mystery. I said like, like seven is the perfect ground. Did you say that for the crossbow or the longbows? Same difference. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> 10 layers. This is what 10. <laughs> I did still feel it, <laughs> to be clear. This is my theory currently that I'm working with. Uh, I think like heavier weight stuff, like your leg just then, mm -hmm. even though it's not moving as quick, there's more force transfer, which can get through this softer layers. I think this crossbow will probably hurt less than that leg kick that you just did. You know what you need? What? Leather pants. I need some nice less leather chaps. And a nice motorcycle. Uh-huh. My butt cheek hanging out, flopping in the wind. That's a lot of air resistance. Oh, what are we? Okay, let's get shots. <laughs> <laughs> Stung. You've, at this point, you've hit me in like the same spot a few times. Uh-huh. Just because we've used the same leg. 10 layers, definitely distinguishable pain. At that point, it was like no concern. It's like, it's not like when I got hit with even the six layers on the crossbow. I'm like, that was an ill-advised idea. Did it feel like this? Felt much worse than that, <laughs> yeah. But I could shrug that one off like instantly. You could shrug off a lot of stuff that most people can't. That's fair, but I feel pretty protected. It's all I'm trying to say with 10 layers of sweatpants on. Like I can tank a lot more stuff. This Maybe this is how we do videos from now on. Probably when you're 50, this is what you're gonna be looking like. <laughs> Cause I gained so much muscle. No, just for protection wise to keep you going. You're mean. Okay, you get shot. Okay. <laughs> it's Mark's turn. 50 pound longbow versus two layers of sweatpants. $10 on the line. I can't fall. You're so close. Don't want to miss. <laughs> You didn't drop. That was your one shot, bud. What are you doing? How did it feel? It hit my butt cheek. How did it feel? I'll give you another one. Do it again. Yeah, I don't think I got a full draw. Get it together. I'll get a full draw this time. I just wanted to be accurate, you know? Well, you hit my butt cheek, so it wasn't accurate. I mean, that's a th part of the target. I don't got big loafers like you. Lock in, Jones. Oh, I'm locked in. <laughs> <laughs> Uh. <laughs> they put Vaseline on there. Oh, okay. My hands are sweaty. I really lubed them up. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Now I'm locked in. Here we go. <laughs> your it's slipping again. It's slipping again. Your, your wobbliness is not. Oh, right in the freaking butt cheek again. <laughs> <laughs> he didn't fall. Oh. It hurt though. It did. I was wor twice as worse as your first one. I got like a more like full pull on that one. We need some work with that, we both do. Yeah, well, who knows if we use it ever again, but mm -hmm. uh, looks like I owe you another 10 bucks. I'll put it on the tab. But painful? Ah. I mean, made the pain. Manageable. Manageable. Yeah, I agree. I agree, especially with this 50 pound bow, but if that was the crossbow at two layers, it would probably be quite painful. 
Very. Learned a lot of in interesting stuff here. Quick look at my leg after all the crossbow shots. Not that bad. There's a weird dent right there, but other than that, pretty good. Pretty good, honestly. Pretty good. Yeah. I'll check back in a couple days, show you the data. I'll also share Mark's data. I won't show you share my data because, you know, the cheeks are for the wife. How do we even know they hit the cheeks? Show me. I felt it. Well, you, wait, we, we... Fine. Keep your cheeks to yourself. Thank you. Greedy bastard. And my wife. I'll show my cheeks in two days. See you then. Wait, what? Really? There's no damage there, but I'm showing my <laughs> <laughs> It's time for the layers of clothing versus blunt arrows data review. Three days after the experiment, the only lasting damage on my stomach was from the shot with zero clothing. As for my right leg, there were a few patches of light bruising, but nothing major. Recovery wise, I had a bit of lingering rib pain from the no layer shot and some swelling in my right leg that made walking a little annoying for a day. Mark, on the other hand, ended up with slight more significant bruising from the two arrows he took. Still impressed he didn't fall over though. Good job, Mark. So can enough layers actually protect you from blunt force arrow trauma? Yes, but the amount of clothing you need to wear, especially for stronger crossbows is well, completely ridiculous. That being said, I had a lot of fun with this experiment and I'd love to know what you all think down in the comments. And if you want even more behind the scenes chaos, check out my YouTube memberships or Patreon. Links are in the description. And if you enjoyed watching me get pelted through a pile of sweat, you'll definitely want to check out the times I got shot with blunt arrows and crossbow bolts without any layers. Spoiler, it hurt a lot more. And believe it or not, it caused a lot more damage.